Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus for October 28th through the 30th. Hold on. This is going to be a 72 hour forecast. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. If you are returning and if you are new, welcome. Um, we're going to get straight into it. This is going to be general. So everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. Please make sure you're using a level of discernment when watching this because every message is just not going to be for you. It's unrealistic to expect that. Um, and if you are someone who does want more of a personal reading, which is going to be accurate, definitely make sure you check out my information listed below for my booking for my website. So let's get into it. Taurus for October 28th through the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus for October 28th through the 30th. October 28th through the 30th. I'm always shuffling you guys can barely see it. Taurus for October 28th through the 30th. Okay, all of them can't be upside down, so I'm going to turn them all upright. We're not going to do that today. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So the first thing I'm going to address is the overall energy. So what we have representing that, I do have the anxiety card. And it's clarified by the page of coins. So I'm getting a sense that you're in a space of worry for some of you. Um, for the next couple of days, you could be worrying about wanting more money or needing more money. This could also be about a financial. For some of you, you could be taking on more financial responsibility. You could be feeling like it may have been too premature. Um, for some of you, like I said, you could be overthinking about you taking a leap of faith out there about some sort of situation that you may have had expectations for to work in your favor. And you may be like just worrying that it won't for some reason. What I will say is don't overthink. Um, also, with any sort of like major decisions you are going to be making very soon, you do want to make sure that you are pacing yourself and that you're not you're not just rushing into things. Um, I'm also seeing as well, like I said, you may be wanting more from somebody who you may have been in a relationship with or expected more from out of a relationship with someone. This could have been an air sign or another earth sign. Um, but I'm seeing that you guys are having to really get a sense of clarity by evaluating the circumstance or the relationship that you're in currently or how things have just played out up until this point. Now, when it comes to love specifically, we do have the energy of victory and the Ace of Swords. So I am seeing that you will be overcoming any sort of trauma that you've went through in the love department. This could be you dealing with people who were less than honest and just telling you what you wanted to hear in that moment. Or this could even be you starting some sort of new line of communication that could work up to a relationship or just clearing the air possibly with someone who you may have had some issues with as well. They may be, you know, apologizing. Or for some of you, if you did this person wrong, you could be apologizing. Take this reading how it applies. But I'm definitely seeing that you guys will be overcoming a troubling time within your love life. Whether this is you getting a peace of mind on your own. Or like a, a new line of communication starting with a newer person. Or again, somebody from your past apologizes. Or you may be apologizing. Now, when it comes to finances and career, I do have the woman holding a heart and the ace of wands. So again, I feel like a lot of my Taurus out there, you know what you truly want to do and what will make you feel content emotionally. And with the ace of wands, the universe is saying, try to do things in alignment with that 
or try to work up the courage to start something that is, like I said, going to be putting you in a place to where you feel content emotionally. Because for a lot of you, you really haven't had the time to really think things all the way through with certain decisions. Or for some of you, like there's something that you want to start, but it's like you need to make sure that you're thinking it all the way through before you make any moves. But for a lot of you, it's like you haven't had a chance to really thoroughly think about something that you want to take action on. And this is putting you in a hawk and a, a, a hawk and a what? This is putting you in a rock in a hard place. And you're really having to use your intuition when it comes to some moves that you're going to be making. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you, I do have the temple path clarified by the two of coins. So with this, uh, the best advice I can give you is to make sure you're doing things kind of like what I said prior to this. You're doing things in alignment with your your path and also doing things that are going to put you in a space of nirvana or feeling at peace with yourself because of the two of coins for some of you your anxiety may go up and down for others of you money may go up and down and that may make you anxious for others of you this could even be you having moments where life is not always on the up and sometimes it's on the you know things are not always on the up sometimes things do kind of um, happen to where we're in a lower space so understand that um, but more than that this is like not having a negative perspective as well that keeps you from moving forward when there is instability and also being confident in yourself moving forward when it comes to you being the magician of your own circumstance or you're the one who could facilitate the changes that you're looking for um, to fit in alignment with what you need. For others of you, if this is you going back and forth about releasing yourself, or for some of you, you need to decide whether or not you are going to release yourself from a toxic relationship or a situation that you feel just very stuck to. This could be with a fire sign, water sign, really doesn't have to be. But for some of you, it's either like you you need to decide whether or not you're going to release this or if you guys are going to work on there not being so much toxicity within the connection. Could also be a Capricorn for some of you. But um, what I am seeing for the obstacle, I do have the hostilities card clarified by the world card. And with this, this may be defensiveness. This could be defensiveness coming from other people around you. So be very weary. Um, for some of you, this could be like you really having to fight for like some sort of move that you're doing. For some of you, like the people that you may be moving with, they may be very hostile. Um, for others of you, again, you may be kind of defensive as well to close a certain chapter in your life that needs to be closed. For some of you, you really don't want to let a certain cycle close in your life with somebody who may be a player or just somebody who you're just not even interested in anymore. Or this person may be, may be not interested in this relationship like that anymore. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a sense of defensiveness or either hostilities or just Again, somebody just being on guard here, whether it's you or the other person that you're dealing with or just people around you or circumstances that come up that act as hostile situations. But beyond that, let's talk a little bit about some money manifestation tips. The advice I can give you to attract more money or to work your law of attraction skills, we do have, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. So this says, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. And on the back, it says, not only does the thought that you are choosing right now attract the next thought and the next and so on, it also provides the basis of your alignment with your inner being. As you consistently and deliberately think and speak more of what you do want and less of what you don't want, you will find yourself more often in alignment with the pure positive essence of your own source. And under these conditions, your life will extremely will be extremely pleasing to you. So there's a need for you to, like this card is saying, deliberately speak more positivity into your life. Think more of what you do want than what you don't want, because regardless of whether or not you want it, whatever you pay your focus or pay your attention to, 
is what you will attract. So please make sure you're not choosing to attract negative thoughts or attract negative things by focusing on negative aspects of life 24 seven. And then also this will transfer into you feeling better energetically and being able to handle your tasks because you're not up under this, you know, this funk. But um, moving beyond that, what it looks like for your love life for the next 72 hours, I do have engagement and the forgiving and learning card. So with this, I am seeing that things will progress within your love life um, after, again, for some of you, for my single Taurus out there, you need to forgive a past situation that happened and move past that to accept new love. If you are a Taurus dealing with somebody already, you definitely need to figure out whether or not you can forgive somebody from whatever happened, learn from it. Yes, but forgive them and move forward. For others of you, if you still are single, and you're not dealing with just anyone. Again, you just need to work on letting go of the old burden so that you can actually allow new love to be in your life, if that makes sense. Because things could definitely progress if you allow it. Um, you just need to move forward. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching this, Taurus. If you did enjoy this and it resonated, definitely leave me a like and a comment and subscribe. And again, if you do want a personal reading, that information will be listed below in the description as well as the comment section. Alrighty, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one.